here. Here's a nice clearance obstacle. Piece of cake and go down slowly. I know you guys want to see this a lifted two-wheel drive van going off-road here we go one of my favorite spots right here big vehicle okay let's go around the rocks here The tricky part's gonna be getting out later. Hopefully I'm running low enough of a tire pressure. Yeah, I could definitely feel myself sinking in the sand. So I used to take my last van build out here. It was a 150, this is a 350. This has a good thousand pounds over my last van. So the key is when I leave this area later, yeah, keep the momentum going. No rear locker yet, that's the goal. Get a rear locker for this thing. But yeah, so cool spot. Yeah, if you want to overland, it's a pretty cool spot. So there's gonna be a few clearance obstacles. That's what you guys want to see, right? There you go, clearance obstacle right there. Here's where the lift comes into play. And then keep moving right here, it's pretty deep. And it's going to be pretty hard packed later. Here's a nice clearance obstacle. Piece of cake. And go down slowly. So my philosophy with off-roading is not to beat the vehicle up, but to explore like I'm doing right now slow motion i'm going 10 miles per hour this is what i enjoy about off-roading because at the end of the day this van spends most of its time on pavement so you know it's mostly a freeway cruiser versus an off-road machine but when there's an opportunity to off-road you take it and it's capable And then the key with two-wheel drive, especially if you don't have a rear locker, is you gotta watch where you stop. I should be okay right now. I'm pretty sure I would be uh, better off airing down to like 30 PSI. I'm at 50. I was gonna try this without an air down, but I wanted to test out my uh, tire deflators. They work really well. Yeah, I find this really enjoyable. Just being out in the middle of nowhere, it's fun for me. Okay, this is deep. All right, so there you go. You gotta, let's go. Let's go up here. Okay, so keep alert. So to the, I, I took the left because yeah, I could feel the sand getting deep. So that's why I took the left route. So yeah, you gotta have some skill. Let's see, 
the left right here. This is um, this is where it's um, yeah, easy route right here. So that's the key when you're uh, off-roading with uh, two-wheel drive. Okay, here's the tricky part, getting out of here. Ooh, that's deep. Okay, don't stop. See, did you see that drop off? That was good. Yeah, I'm spinning. Okay, so a rear locker would be nice right now. But yeah, the key is don't stop. So yeah, that's, that's the mod I want, rear locker. I could feel it right there. Hopefully the um, back um, action cam is getting the sound good. That's gonna sound good when I was powering out of that sand. But yeah, man, some people don't feel like a rear locker is needed. I just like that. Um, I just like that extra traction, you know, because off-roading is more fun when you feel like there's less chance that you're gonna get stuck. I have my high lift with me, my recovery boards. So, yeah. But you know, when you're driving a two-wheel drive, especially with an open diff, you sort of learn. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to what's ahead of you. Like right here, this is deep. All right, let's climb up this. This is, it's always fun. It's always fun using the suspension lift, right? That's the fun part. What can this, you know, what can your van actually do? So, you know, when you do like something like that, you feel like the, uh, the lift kit was justified. This interior doesn't sound too bad. You can probably hear it rattling around. Here you go. I think that uh, last one was a better climb. Fun stuff. A little drop here. See in the Geo, I had to go like at an angle. This one's pretty much, you could go straight ahead. So. All right, here's the fun part. Will I get stuck? You know what? I've been going out here for more than 10 years now. It's been a while. Like there was a five year gap, I didn't go here. And then when my dad got his truck, we went out here again. Okay, let me concentrate here. Oh, this van's so big. Should I go straight up? You know what? You wanna see? Let's see how good this suspension really is. Let's climb this. I got the power. All right, let's climb it. Oh, easy work, man. That was impressive, actually. Oh, man, that was good. So here's how we did it earlier. So as you can see, that's the road right there. So see the border patrol off to the side right there? So, so I came in from the road, and then I came in through here, this part right here. So here's how I entered. So I actually went out through that climb right there. That was awesome. You know what, when I get a rear locker on this thing, my confidence in this van is gonna be so much higher. But yeah, airing down to um, 50 PSI back definitely helped. So let me uh, park in the shade a little bit here. Let me re-air re up. That was awesome. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, you know what? can't wait to get a rear locker I don't even think I'll air down if I have a rear locker so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed that because I know a lot of you guys want to lift your van or you have a lifted van maybe you haven't gone off-roading it but there was a little sample right there of what these vans could do the not fun part airing back up not enough departure angle. The skull, no. Running two of them. One more look where I took the van. One of my favorite spots. Perfect challenge for a lifted two wheel drive van.